Hi there guys, welcome back to Anything Blows. My name is Andrew Dika, and on today's video I've got a reaction video for you guys. More specifically last Saturday's UFC event, more specifically UFC Fight Night, Kai Kara France versus Amir Albazi in a flyweight main event um, Saturday the 3rd of June 2023. Just before I get into this video guys, as always, hopefully you enjoy the content, hopefully you enjoy the reaction videos, It'd be much appreciated if you could subscribe and like, it only takes a few seconds and only a few clicks of a button away. Have you done so? Right, let's get back into the video, guys. So, as previously mentioned, UFC fight night at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. Kai Kara France versus Amir Albazi in a flyweight main event. So, uh, for this fight, I've done a whole card prediction. And uh, let's kick off from the first and prelim. So, to kick off the card in the prelims, in the light heavyweight contest, Felipe Linz versus Maxim Grishin. Felipe Linz won this fight via unanimous decision. Looked unreal. Um, Maxim Grishin had his moments, especially in the second round, but Felipe wins. Felipe Linz, sorry, won this fight via unanimous decision. Moving on, um, next fight in a bantamweight division: Damon Blackshear versus um, Luen Laceda. Uh, Damon Blackshear won this fight via TKO in the second round. Unreal power, heavy fisted, great fighter, and unreal knockout and great fight to watch. And first finish on the night. Next, we move on to the women's strawweight division. Elise Reed, who I thought would win. It was a great contest. It was a great bout. Jin Yu Frey looked good, especially like in the early rounds and in round two. However, Elise Reed just edged it out, looked a lot more better, and won it on the night via unanimous decision. Moving on to a lightweight bout. So one of my favourite fighters to watch in the UFC, and I love when his name comes about. Unfortunately, he lost this fight. Jamie Malarkey versus Mohamed Naimov. Mohamed Naimov won this fight in a light lightweight bout um, via TK in the second round. Jamie Malarkey looked good, but Mohamed Naimov was just on a different level. He, he, he played the fight right. He played the game plan right. Looked for the shot and got him out of there. Commiserations to Jamie Malarkey, but Mohamed Naimov looked unreal. Next bout in a bantamweight division. John Castaneda versus Muin Gafarov. John Castaneda won this fight via unanimous decision. He didn't play anything wrong in this fight. He, he, play, he didn't play any part wrong in this fight. He played it how he did. Stylistically, Moon Gafarov uh, had his moments and also looked good. But John Castaneda just edged it out and looked a lot, lot better. And just uh, improved himself from the last time he saw him out. And great win. Now, in a heavyweight contest. And oh my god, this is another highlight reel. Another amazing knockout on the night. A TKO. In a heavyweight division, Dante Myers versus Andre Olovsky. Andre Olovsky is a vet, and we've seen him in the UFC and in the sport for years. And he's fought Tomas now, he's fighting all these up and coming good guys. And Dante Myers took his opportunity. Um, respect is given when you're fighting a guy, but it's business at the end of the day. And whilst you're in the, in, in the ring, it's either you or them. And Dante Myers won via TKO in the second round. Poor Andre Arlovsky. Do you feel sorry for Andre Arlovsky? Commiserations to him. Hopefully he does come back soon. And great win for Dante Myers. And he looked unreal and just heavy-handed once again. Especially for a heavyweight. And great, great power and great way to set up that finish. Um, a featured prelim on about. In a bantamweight division. Daniel Santos versus Johnny Munoz Jr. Daniel Santos won this fight via unanimous decision. Uh, Johnny Munoz looked great, don't get me wrong. He looked really good in the earlier rounds, just wasn't to be his night. And Daniel Santos looked unreal. And once again, another fighter who played his fight outright, stylistically edged out the first round and the third round. And, and he looked great to win a fight via unanimous decision. Next, moving on to the main card in a welterweight contest, uh, Eliseo Zaleski dos Santos versus Abu Bakr Nurmagomedov. Eliseo Zaleski dos Santos won this fight via split decision. I believe Abu Bakr showed a great fight, and, and he always does when he comes to fight. The famous surname in Nurmagomedov. Um, but Eliseo Zaleski dos Santos looked really good. He won his fight via split decision. It's another fight that could have gone either way, similar to the main event. But congratulations to Eliseu. Commiserations to Abu Bakr. And uh, he'll be back stronger. And Eliseu had a great performance and a great win and moves on from here. Next bout, Norman's flyweight division. Kareem Silva versus Ket Ketlin Souza or Salza. Um, both two Brazilian women, a great matchup. Um, Kareen Silva on the first um, submission win on the night, won via a submission in the first round. She looked really good and played the game from right court, caught Ketlin and just got her out of there. Next fight, Tim Elliott versus Victor Altamirano. Tim Elliott just looked unreal. It's always a fight. It's always a fight of the night or a performance of the night when you're watching Tim Elliott. Great scrap, great fight. 
great fighter and it was an amazing war. Commiserations to Victor Altamirano. However, Tim Elliott just looked levels above and he looked unreal and he's improved his game. Now, going on to another lightweight bout um, and that was in a flyweight bout for Tim Elliott. Next, moving on to a lightweight bout, Jim Miller versus Jesse Butler. Jim Miller, the veteran himself, getting his fastest knockout ever in his UFC career, 23 seconds into the first round. Pitch perfect, right hand, left hook, and it was an amazing fight, amazing knockout, something out of a movie or a computer game. And it just shows uh, not only MMA, but boxing as well. But um, with those four ounce gloves, this is a game of millimeters and inches in a sense that one mistake and you're clipped and nights out. Um, so congratulations to Jim Miller. Unfortunate to Jesse Butler because there are those type of fights similar to Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor where just one shot ends the fight. And, and, and it's a crazy one because who would have thought not to talk on that now because it's gone in the past. But Jose Aldo and Conor McGregor, the, the build-up that had, the world tours that had, the presses they had, and to have been knocked out in the first 13 seconds, is just crazy and you just can't predict it in this sport. And just one shot can knock your lights out, similar to Ben Ashkin and Jorge Masvidal. Co-main event, what about? A great bout to set up the main event. Um, Mick Maynard, Sean Shelby, Dana White know what they're doing on the placements on the card. Alex Caceres versus Daniel Pineda in a featherweight bout. Alex Caceres won his fight via decision. Rightly so. It was amazing scrap. It was an amazing war. Fight of the night. Performance of the night. Amazing, amazing fight. And it just looked unreal. And it entertained the fans saying not for the main event. Congratulations to Alex Caceres. He just fought like a gangster that he is. And wild. And not only wild, but it was a brawl. And commiserations to Daniel Pineda. But love, love to see both these guys out there back soon. Now, the one you've all been waiting for. The main event. In Las Vegas, Nevada. In the UFC Apex. In the main event. In the flyweight division, Kai Cora France, the third ranked featherweight, the third ranked flyweight versus Amir Albazi, your seventh ranked flyweight. If you guys haven't seen already or haven't heard already, it's a controversial win. However, uh, sorry to all you New Zealand fans and Kai Cora France fans. However, Amir Albazi won this fight via split decision, very controversial one. Amir Albazi takes the third rank in the UFC flyweight division. Kai Cora France moves down to fifth. Um, it's a tough one. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's a tough one to call. So it's a game between grappling. It's a game between grappling and striking. And Amir's striking looked great, but so did Kai. So in the first round, Kai did have his moments. However, it was all Amir. If not all Amir, majority Amir grappling, taking him down, holding Kai against the fence. And in my opinion, I give the first round to Amir. Second round, Kai striking won it for me. Third round, Amir Albazi having Kai on the ground, submission attempts. I gave the, f uh, the third round to Amir Albazi. The fourth round and the fifth round, as many attempts as Amir Albazi did have with his grappling and his um, wrestling, I scored the fourth one for Kai and the fifth one for Kai, just because of striking, and it was an all-round all brawl. And in the moment, it's hard to score bouts like that, and it's hard watching live, and even watching back, it's hard to score those type of fights. It's a striker, it's a striker versus wrestler matchup, and... Uh, Amir Albazi looked unreal and I, I do believe this is his time and I congratulate him on the win. Regardless who would have won on the night, I believe uh, either men who would have won should go up to fight for the title or for a number one contender spot and fight for the title soon. Kai Kara France had his interim opportunity, Amir Albazi, now with this tremendous win against Kai Kara France, who was ranked third, deserves to be up there and it's a tough one to call, similar to Devin Haney and Lomachenko. However, in my opinion, um, if if I'm watching on the sidelines, yeah, I thought Kai Kara France won in the moment, but it's a very tough fight to score, and either way, um, each fight deserved it, because it was a war, and it was a barn burner, and it was the main event that delivered. Um, commiserations to Kai Kara France, although he lost in the night, he stays winning, he's going to be back soon, incredible fight, should be proud of his performance, City kickboxing, amazing gym, and he's going to just recalibrate and get back from there, come back to winning ways, and it was an amazing main event. Congratulations to Amir Albazi, the winner, and hopefully, and God willing, soon we can see him fight for a world title, if not a number one contender spot, and I truly believe he does deserve it, and this is his time, and maybe if the fight would have played out a little bit different, or if the judges were, or the scorecard was a little bit more convincing, then maybe there wouldn't be this much controversy, however, both men are winners on the night, although Amir Albazi was a real winner on the night, on the scorecards. Congratulations to both men. They showed out. They put out a great main event, especially in a flyweight division. And God willing, we can see both men have a rematch. If not, be at the top very soon and fight for the title. Maybe Amir Albazi becomes champ soon and he rematches Kai Kara France.
Um, thank you guys for tuning into the video today. I've been Andrew Decart. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of UC Fight Night Kai Kara France versus Amir Albazi from the first prelim to the main event, and what was your prediction on the main event? Don't forget to comment down below. Uh, thank you, and until next time, I've been Andrew Decart, and peace out.